This is the fourth video on integration where we're going to have a, look at a quick example showing us how to integrate reciprocal and exponential functions. We've already seen that when we integrate the exponential we get the exponential and when we integrate the reciprocal function we get ln of the modulus of x plus the constants of course. So let's have a look at an example where we use both of these things. It looks like this. Uh, so first thing I want to do when I'm faced with this question is to deal with this because this is a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, so I'm going to expand the brackets and then see what simplification I can do. So expanding the brackets here I get 16 minus 8x plus x squared and that's all divided by the 2x. Uh, the 3e to the x, I'm not going to do anything with that yet so I'm just going to leave that over here. Next, um, now I've got these three terms on the top and they're all divided by 2x. I'm thinking I could write this as each of them individually being divided by 2x. I could split it up into three separate fractions, which would then hopefully make it easy for me to integrate those three things. So I'm going to write it as 16 over 2x minus 8x over 2x plus x squared over 2x. I'm still keeping the 3e to the x over there. I could write down what the integral of 3e to the x is really easily. I know it's 3e to the x, but I'm not going to do that until the very end. I don't want to start doing integration when I'm not ready to integrate the first one. I want to do all the integration in one go. Before I do any integration, I want to try and simplify these if I can. So the 16 and the 2 will cancel. The 8x over 2x will just be 4. The x squared over the 2x will just be x over 2. And now we're ready to integrate. Uh, the 8 over x. Well, I know that 1 over x integrates to be ln x. And here I've got 8 of them. So that will be 8 ln x. 4 integrates to be 4x. x would integrate to be x squared over 2. So this is going to be a quarter x squared. And the 3e e to the x integrates to be 3e e to the x. Don't forget your constant of integration as well. So there we go. There's a pretty simple example where we integrate using uh, integrate the reciprocal function and an exponential.